Hi, welcome everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Lytham Golf Academy. I'm going to do a little bit of a what's in the bag for you guys here. So it's been a, uh, a while since I've done the last what's in the bag. I think it was the end of uh, last year. So really sort of due one. And the reason I'm doing this also is I've got a couple of new additions into the bag also for this season. So I just wanted to maybe share this with you guys as to why these have gone in the bag and a little bit of the reason why. And also maybe I'm just going to hit some shots as well and give you a little bit of some data on the shots that I'm hitting also with the equipment I've got in the bag. Okay, so starting off, we'll, we'll start in the wedges first, then we'll work our way up through the bag and we'll leave the driver to the end here. So wedges, I've still got the uh, Cleveland RTX um, 588 Rotex 2.0s in the bag here. Now these have been in the, in the bag for nearly three years now. Uh, I love them. I really do like them. I probably am due some new um, wedges racing off basically just to really freshen up the grooves with more than anything just getting a little bit sort of worn here but I've got a makeup of a 50 degree which is my gap a 54 degree and a 58 degree so I've had that sort of makeup for quite a, uh, quite a long time now to be honest and it fits in well I'm used to that 50 54 as my sand iron Obviously 58 is more than enough loft that I feel I need in, in my lob wedge. Easy enough to open these up with the soles here. So very nicely um, adaptable for different sort of lie, um, lies that you get faced with on the golf course in and around the greens really. Uh, really good feel. Obviously they're not forged but give you a really good sort of feel. Um, and I feel, you know, Cleveland make some, some fantastic wedges. Obviously there's a lot of other good wedges on the market. So I do need to maybe have a little look at that. And if I'm going to freshen them up, I will do. Uh, bounces on these are just standard two dot bounce you know I haven't got high bounce low bounce anything like that just keep it on the two dot bounce very simple really uh, but four degree gap 50 54 58 and that is my wedges okay now moving into the irons here now as you'll see maybe in my last what's in the bag I've got the Wilson FG Tour V6 forged irons and they are staying in the bag for this year I absolutely love them you know I think they're a cracking set of golf clubs very um, very very soft on the feel of them I love the look of it there's sort of some more compact rounded sort of shape on it very classic um, sort of polished chrome finish on it there a little bit of sort of crimping around the hose which takes me back to my junior days when I used to see these on the rack in the F FG5s and um, you know they used to be used to always look at them and used to think wow God, they were beautiful um, bladed sort of golf clubs now obviously these aren't blades these are cavity here but I think they are quite a small compact head um, they look superb behind the golf ball, they feel fantastic, they've got everything like a classic looking iron that, uh, uh, that I would sort of want really, and, uh, but to be honest they're really quite forgiving. So as you see as you go through the set here, um, we've got the, the, nine, the pitch, the 9, the 8, okay, and then as you transition to the 7 and 6 iron, you've got like a little shaded area on the sole. This is tungsten here, so they're replacing... Um, some metal here with tungsten which helps a little bit more with forgiveness and then as you move into the five the four and the three iron that tungsten splits to the heel and the toe so helping with a little bit of reducing of twist and maybe on the off center hits a little bit of help that you maybe want a little bit more on those long grounds and to be honest when I first got the three iron out and I'll put it down I thought god that is a small head uh, I, it, to be honest it scared me a little bit but after starting hitting it it's a really forgiving three iron much more forgiving than what it actually looks like so it's really chuffed to bits now these lofts are, are very traditional on these irons so the seven irons lofted in at 35 degrees which is pretty weak nowadays so it's not the longest hitting of irons I'll probably carry this around that sort of 161 to maybe 164 165 pushing it uh, for seven irons so as you've maybe seen some of my review videos that isn't the longest you know we've got some seven irons going out there at um, mid 170s into 180s there but obviously a very different loft scenario and I like that true loft of it you know I'm not really striving for distance I've got enough distance I don't really need any more I'm looking for a little bit more control and, and, and these give me a really good spin number um, so seven iron I typically spin with these around that sort of 6,800 to maybe 7,000 mark so um, as you know when you get into the more game improvement irons you lose that loft and CG starts moving around this club face a lot more we see some quite low spin numbers so I love the control I get with this I feel like I can shape the ball in different ways I've got a lot of control when it comes into land you know if I want to hit it low I can do I can change my stance and um, you know adjustment and my handle head relationship to hit that lower shot so I just feel like the workability of those is, is superb so they're definitely staying in the bag for 2018. 
So moving on into a new addition in the bag here. Um, so the, the irons in the wheel set I carry from a three through to pitch and wedge. Um, and now I did used to have a Shrixen uh, U45 two iron and I've recently just changed it. Some of you may have seen a video I've done recently with um, a head to head between the P790 uh, UDI two iron against my Shrixen. And you'll have seen that video. I did like the performance of the UDI. So from that, it has made its way into the bag. So I'm, I'm quite sad to see the Shrixen and go it was a big favorite of mine i don't think i will get rid of it um sentimental value and all that uh, it probably i probably will do eventually but um this has definitely made it into the bag and this is a beast this two iron is superb absolutely love it very different look compared to my strix and there it's not as bulky at the back a little bit more slimmer looking and i've got this in a graphite so obviously strix and did have in graphite i've kept it in the graphite here in the hazardous project x black um, which is 85 gram, 6.5 flex. So that is extra stiff there. So, um, but this provides me, and the loft of this is, I think, I believe it comes in at 17 degrees here, but it gives a really good ball flight. Loving the flight. This gives you a little bit more penetrate than my Shrixen. It's a little bit longer hitting also. And I think I just got a lot more uh, control of that golf ball if it's when it's windy. You know, if I'm hitting into that wind, I'm off the tee and I want to get it sort of piercing a little bit more. I felt like I could do this more. The Shrixen just felt like it climbed a little bit more on me so um really good addition again when i strike this well i'm getting this out at sort of finishing up at touching 270 on some really good hits but probably averaging around that 260 255 260 sort of mark so um it's a pretty long uh, hitting golf club as well now the spec of this mid-size grip i think it's half inch long and it's a couple of degrees more upright same with the irons i haven't actually mentioned the spec of the irons but the irons are um two degrees upright and uh three quarters of an inch longer in the irons there Okay, so now moving into the big dog, and this again is another new addition. So recently I did some videos of when I went down to the Ping factory, uh, we had the factory tour, tour, then we got fitted in the fitting center at Ping. And from that, I have actually got a new driver in the bag. So this is the G400 and it's the LST. So it's a low spin technology head with that weight a little bit further forward there. I've got this lofted in at 8.5 degrees, set at 8.5. So I've not changed that loft in any way, kept it on there. And then I'm in the um, tall, Ping's Tour 65 shaft in an X4. Flex. Okay, so this is, I like it. I really do like it. And I, I think, again, as you'll have seen some videos I've done of the G400 range, I've been a big fan of how it looks, and I think it's stunning. It is quite a busy head there. You know, you've got your turbulators, you've got your dragonfly on there, but it all sort of funnels to that golf ball. Matte black finish, black face. I think it looks very sort of stealth like, and I love the way it sort of sits, um, you know, behind that golf ball. Quite like that slightly smaller compact uh, of head shape here. I think this is coming at 445cc, uh, so a little bit smaller than the generally 460ccs you do see out there. Uh, a little bit of technology flying around here, but it feels good. It's solid sound and giving me some decent numbers there. So at the moment, this is uh, in the bag. It's a new one gone in there and I'm, I'm happy with it. You know, I've, I've still not played a lot of golf recently, so I do need to get out there and play a little bit more. So hopefully some course vlogs coming your way there. But this is um, a good addition, I feel. I love the look of it. I love the feel of it. And the Tour 65 shaft is a touch shorter, half inch shorter than the standard um, stock CB shaft that comes in the ping. So it is a slightly shorter shaft there, which I feel like I've got a little bit more control over, a little bit more um, confidence really with the driver to try and get that strike and obviously keep that ball in play. Okay, then finally moving into the last piece in the clubs here. And again, another new addition. And again, it's a ping one. So from my uh, trip down to ping, we also did a ping uh, putter fitting, which was a really interesting one for me. Putting is something I've, I've sort of just really not taken any really care about, to be honest, and I should do, um, and, and I just haven't done. But I had a really interesting putter fitting with the guys down at Ping here, and uh, I've come away with the uh, Time Signergy uh, putter here. Now, this is a little bit of a different spec for me than I'm used to. So this is 36 inches in length. So you could say this is one inch longer than standard, which I've always generally played with a 34 inch putter because I felt like it got me more over that golf ball to get that sort of pendulum action sort of working. But this, as soon as I got it in my hands, it just feels sad. It's like, where have I been for the last few years with my putters? It's like, it just feels so comfortable. I feel like I'm taller, but I'm over it, but I'm taller. And it just really frees up my upper 
upper body here and it feels like I can just get the shoulders rocking really nicely. I love the look of it, the two fangs sort of look there, the balance of it, it's a face balance putter here, suited my um, stroke being a little bit more on the straighter side and it's actually a red dot lie angle so it's one degree flat of standard. Sounds different because obviously my irons are, uh, are two degrees more upright and it, uh, that's always been the case and this is actually a little bit flatter and again that just helped me to create a better delivery really and control the face a lot more coming through impact so um, you know we, we measured this when I was down at Ping the numbers don't lie it was a little bit of a surprise for me but again when I put that down it doesn't look flat to me you know in any, in any way so um, I like that it's a little bit of a heavier head which again suited my slower tempo there. Generally a heavy head will suit a slower tempo. And then I've got this in a PP60 pistol grip. So slightly thicker um, grip here. Not, not massively thick, but just a little bit thicker there, which just sits in my hands quite nice. Feels really comfortable, like the weight of it, like the look of it. And again, not done a great deal on the golf course with this as yet, but I've been out on a practice putting green and it feels superb. So definitely feel like the dispersion with the putts are getting tight here. I feel like I'm going to hold more from long distance, which is a great feeling to have. So really pleased with this addition and looking forward to getting this out on the golf course a little bit more. Uh, in the near future. Okay, so moving on to the uh, last piece here, the, the golf ball I play with. So again, this is uh, this hasn't changed for quite a number of years now and it's still gonna be the same for me. Um, I'm, I'm used to this golf ball, I like it. I don't really like changing the golf ball too much here. So I play with the Shrixen Z-Star XV golf ball here. So this is the lowest spinning um, ball of the, of the Z-Star model. So they do a Z-Star and then they do an XV. So I play with the XV, so that's the one with the red number on there. A Little bit lower spinning. So again, as you may any of you see through my videos my spin number on maybe driver it gets a little bit on the higher side so i like the fact that this can just try and keep that spin number down a little bit more but even around the greens it feels superb i can get it stopping quite easily it's a little bit of a maybe a firmer feel than maybe what maybe what you say like pro v1 something like that but it, it's not too hard by any means i can get it stopping i've got a good feel for it around the green i love it off the putter face and it's really durable as well it's like a pure white so it's very white and it stays there i believe that um the sort of colouring is now like in the in pigmentation of the golf ball as opposed to just painted on. So it holds its colour really well and doesn't really scuff much. So you can get a lot of use out of these golf balls in terms of durability on that golf course. So that's definitely uh, staying in the bag. Really good uh, golf ball, very pleased with it. So that's going to be staying in the bag for this year also. So golf bag leaves us to the last part of it. Obviously still on my Shrixen uh, staff bag here. Also have a uh, Shrixen uh, carry bag here also if you want to do carry you know good golf bags love it love the white look even though it's starting to look a little bit uh, dirty a little bit tatty uh, not the fact that it's been overused just more the fact that i've not kept it uh, sort of clean and dusted really so it just needs a little bit of a wipe down but great bag loads of space in there obviously got my name on the front there just in case i forget who i am or where my golf bag is i can spot it quite easily uh, but yeah love love the bag love the look of it really nice uh, good solid golf bag there so there's my uh, what's in the bag for 2018 i think that's going to be pretty much stable for the whole season maybe the, the update of the wedges might occur at some point i need to have maybe do a little bit more testing on those but the rest of it i feel quite sort of happy with really so um looking to looking forward to really getting out on the golf course and hopefully some course vlogs coming your way uh, in doing so so thanks very much for watching guys uh, any comments on my equipment i'm using there you know do comment down below uh, let me know your thoughts i'll try and get back to as many of you as i possibly can obviously follow me on social media platforms if you can uh, all the links in the description down below hit that subscribe button more importantly and that bell icon so you, you get notifications any future videos will be the very first ones to watch them thanks for supporting and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon